Here we're looking at example 5 from our 2.3 notes. We're asked to find the derivative for the following function, and here it is. f of x is equal to 1 over the cube root of x. Uh, what we can actually do is go ahead and rewrite this as 1 over, and anytime we have like the cube root of x like this, we can have that such that where it has that base of x raised then to the exponent of 1 third. So we're just rewriting what this guy looks like. The cube root of x comes out to be the same thing as saying x raised to the one third. If it had an exponent along with him, then that numerator would just be whatever that exponent is as well. Uh, this index, notice it is three, and that's why our denominator is three. Now we can go ahead and rewrite this as well, um, bringing this guy up to the top and changing that exponent to a negative. And the reason why we would do that is such then that we can go ahead and use that power property that we've seen with derivatives. So right now f of x is equal to x raised to the negative one-third power. And applying our derivative on both sides, we end up then with f prime of x is equal to the derivative with respect to x of x raised to the negative one-third power. And how we actually accomplish that is we're going to go ahead and take this exponent, negative one-third, out into the front of x. So we then end up with negative one-third x raised to the negative one-third. Using that power property though, we know that we have to subtract one from him. And so then we end up with negative one-third x raised to the negative one over three minus just doing a little bit of foo-foo here. To get the same bottoms, we'd have to multiply this by three over three. So ultimately we actually have minus three over three. Simplifying things, we end up with negative one third x raised to the negative one minus three gives us negative four over three. So now that is the exponent. And now we can go ahead and change that exponent into a positive, this whole piece, by throwing him into the denominator. So when we do that, we end up then with negative one over three times x raised to the positive four thirds power. And so just kind of cleaning this up a little bit, um, you could leave your answer like that, but you may also see like a multiple choice write the answer as this, negative one over three x times the cube root of x. Um, but either one are correct, so that would be again our final solution for example five from our 2.3 set of notes.